Okay, so I've got the PC recording. And um, I think all of you know how to um, pin. Um, the, what we're going to do is um, Jennifer um, will be doing a lot of the talking. Jennifer is the dyer behind um, Theodora's Pearls. She does all these fabulous colors. And um, I'm going, but I will be just, I will be moving the camera around. So if you want to um, see, if you want to um, get, have a big picture of, do you all know how to, um, you can pin, you can do a pin video, which I finally figured out how to do it on an um, iPad. If you didn't, if you don't, if you don't know, I, uh, but I, you can do it on your PC. If you hover over, if you're in gallery view and you hover over the picture, um, you get three dots and you click on that and it lets you pin the video. Um, otherwise you can, uh, on an iPad, if you um, hit participants and then you go to where there's two that say Carla Billingsley, you want the one that, um, you want the second one. And, okay. uh, and there, um, if you tap on that, it should say spotlight video and that should make the video, the main video will be mine. It just says chat if I click on the second one. Okay, try the first one. Maybe it's the first one. No, it says chat. Huh. Both, they both say chat. I do not. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Mine doesn't say that either. Of course, I'm on my phone. I'm not on my Oh, iPad. okay. It's that's on the iPad. I don't, I still have not figured out how to do it on the phone. Okay. Yeah, mine doesn't. Well, on my iPad, what? I, if I go to gallery and I just click on one of the things, I can double tap it and that becomes the main view. Okay. Oh, yes. You can double tap from your phone. Yeah. <gasps> it works. All right. That girl over here. Also, I knitted several of those samples so I can answer very detailed questions. Marla, can you okay. put your video on, honey? All we can see is your name. Yes. Um, give me just a second. I'm standing in the kitchen. I'm going to go in the other room and turn it on in a couple, couple minutes. All right. Okay. Hi, Carissa. Hi, how are you? Everything good? Yep. Good. So you have the dia. Yeah. Okay. So, hello, everyone. I'm Jennifer Miller, and I'm a yarn designer and knitting teacher based out of Longmont, Colorado, where I am at this moment. And through the wonders of Zoom and everything else, I'm so excited to be with you and to be able to still visit with knitters and um, needleworkers all over the country. And uh, this is my second year to participate in the North Tre Texas Yarn Crawl with Quixotic Fibers, and I'm super excited. So what you see here on the screen of the yarn setup over here, Carla's um, setup, is the display of my yarn with a lot of beautiful samples. And um, I'm, I do work in wool as well as other fibers. And I'm most, but I'm most known for my bamboo, which is what Carla has in the shop. Most, all of this you see here on the screen, that is um, these bright colors that are hanging here. That's, this is all bamboo. And this bamboo is spun to my order by David at Fiber Lady. And it's four ply fingering weight. And I have it in many, 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 many colors. And I have, um, actually I have about 65 standard colors. And I'm always doodling, some, there really are more than that, but that's kind of my standard menu. Wow, 65. And um, I, the reason why there are more is because I often do a special color for, a, for an event like a crawl or a fiber fest or the anniversary of a shop, something like that. I'm often doing a special colorway that's like a limited edition. So there are some, some that are new as well, some that are unique. There's Marla. Okay, so, <laughs> um, so here you see uh, many of the beautiful colors. I love a beautiful rich neutral as well as brights. And so you see a little of everything here. And, uh, you know, of course, every skein has got a story. So if you want to hear about some of them, I'm happy to show. But the main thing about the bamboo is 
bam David spins this bamboo to my order. And it has two plies of bamboo top and two plies of non-top. And the, these, the top and non-top are slightly different staple length. And they take the dye slightly differently. And they create just a certain amount of shine, the exact amount of shine that I wanted, no more. Emily, can you put yourself on mute, honey, please? Or maybe I can, no, okay. There we go, thank you, thank you. Um, so um, one of the things that's been so great for me in the last couple of years and continuing on now into the future is that designers are designing patterns for my yarn. And I'm so very blessed and honored to work with the great and wonderful Elisa Barton, who has written two books of, pa of patterns for my bamboo yarn. This one right here, the green one, is uh, two scarves and two cowls. And we do have this available. I'm not, I don't know if Carla has these in the shop or not, but she Yeah, does. we do. Okay, good. So this, is, this book is really great if you're interested in making one skein projects or if you would like to make gifts because each one of the patterns takes one skein. You can make beautiful scarves and cowls. And then the second book, which is the blue one, which Carla will hold up sometime here, is, um, the, is the one that has bamboo wraps and shawls. There it is. That's the second one. And that's the one that has the boho shrug in it that Carla is wearing that we've been talking about as we've gone, you know, as we've been visiting here. It takes three skeins of the bamboo and you can make them either all total or you can, um, you can choose three very bright ones. You can choose two brights and a neutral. There's really just a lot of opportunity here to do something interesting. Um, mm. and there And there's the pattern. And mm. that's the pattern. And then the one that Carla has on is one that I knit that is in contrasting colors, which is uh, rust, uh, mm. marble, and El Greco. So there's three. There's the three kind of contrasting colors. Can you turn around, Carla? Yeah, turn around Actually, so we can. Let me, um, let me put this down so you can. Oh, so I'm can... sorry. Okay. There we go. Okay. Working. Oh, cute. Working for the camera. Let's see the back. Okay. Work it, job. girl. Work it. There we go. <laughs> um, this is a very, very easy nice. knit. It is in half linen stitch, it, and it fades from one color to the, to the next. You can do it in three full skeins or a set of minis. And right. which we also now, could you have. make that longer? Could you make that? You cannot make it longer. You cannot, you cannot make it longer. Okay. But the good news is it really works for every one of every it shape. It does. I've seen it on every kind of person from very tiny little woman to, you know, larger, and more, more ample. So yeah. it mm -hmm. really does work. And it's, it actually is just a rectangle that is folded up to create sleeves and then it becomes oh, okay. so it's yeah. super easy. And one of the great things in that book is she actually has pictures with every different size of model wearing it. There's this size zero model oh. and then there's a plus model. Okay. Oh, this, this okay. Beautiful, zero model. Plus model is Marla's daughter which is Aww. so great to model for us. Yeah. So, so, so that's in the bamboo. Now, is that, I'm sorry, is that DK or Worcester? Or? No, it is fingering weight. The bamboo, Fingerman. it basically comes in one weight. I do have some other weights of it, but I don't, really, I, anyway, it's all fingering. Oh, okay. So yeah. it's fingering so, weight. Okay. Yeah, it's fingering weight. So um, that's a super popular, and it is only available in the book. You could get the book from Carla. The one she's showing, or you can buy the entire book digitally on Ravelry and you get four patterns. And Carla has all of the samples of all of the four patterns that you get. Oh. They're really quite a good deal. For $21.95, you get all of the four patterns. I and think I want the book. Download code. And you also get the download code. So you okay. can download, you can download the, um, download it to your iPad or whatever it is you want as well, which is a super great bonus. And um, 
so the other thing I'm very happy and excited about is that I did a set of Smalls games that are called North Texas Luxury that are exclusive to Quixotic for the crawl. And these are all inspired by North Texas. I actually am from North Texas myself. So I knew ah. these colors, but these are all referenced around the area of Whitesboro heritage, um, you know, natural effects and so forth. Okay. The colors are um, from the left to the right. The first one is called Hayfield. The second one, the green is called Spring Planting. And then the third one, what is that third one, Carla? I've forgotten. It's, um, oh, it's, uh, it says on the front. Live Oak. Live Oak. The third one is Live Oak. Such a Live Oak color, isn't it? Then we have Blue yes. Bonnet. Blue Bonnet. And then this is Stagecoach Red for the Butterfield Stagecoach line. And then the last one is called Diamond Depot which is the, that was the Butterfield Stagecoach stop very close by Whitesboro. Was yeah. The German Depot. So those are all referencing North Texas history, heritage, natural, land, you know, and they are just really, you can make a beautiful boho shrug out of those. You can do it out of a set like this. And these are not minis, actually. These are half skeins. They're all 50 grams. So that's 1,200 yards of-, of So uh, you use all the colors or would you use, you wouldn't use all the colors? You can choose. I you gotcha. can. You could okay. use them all or you could choose out what you like. So you have 50 grams. Each one of those is 200 yards. So- And how much is the boho? Uh, how much, how many yards does that take? The it takes three shirt? full skeins. So oh, it's gotcha. the same as I gotcha. set, so Very yeah. close to that anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So then the other ones from the books Carla has there also in the shop, you get some other really, really great patterns too. Uh-huh. There's the, yeah. Has designed. There's one, there's a poncho there. And there's, um, behind her, there's another one. Another yeah, what's, one. what's the that? Stripes. That's the striations, three full skeins of that one, a big rectangular wrap. And then there's the white cap beach wrap, which is a lace one that takes a set of minis and that one there. That, now that one takes a set of half skeins and two skeins of one single color. Or, okay. that, or, a, or a large one and a half. Or a skein. large skein. Yeah, we do have some yeah, skein and a half. A few large skeins, yeah. yeah. We have some skein and a half so that if you like that piece, we've got the whole setup for you there that you can choose. And there are some other sets of the small skeins in addition to the ones that are spe specific for Quixotic and for North Texas. There are some other sets as well. They're super fun and inspiring. There's, there's one yeah. there. It's real pretty. So, I have a lot of fun with the, with the small skeins. I usually just look at that. Yum. I usually just dye up a lot of them and then I just lay them all out on a table and sort of have fun matching them all up to each other. There's yeah. one. That's oh, that's mine. Oh. There you yeah, go. those are your colors, Maureen. There you yeah. Go. If you do that, you should grab um, the dark saddle or the cream to go with it. Yeah, we actually already sold the, the well, we've got some dark saddle here. So this is the um, old saddle. Old saddle, yeah. Um, or you could do it with cream. Yeah. Both of those two would be spectacular. Pretty. Yeah. That orange wrap there, is that, yeah. how long is that? That's a rectangle? It's a long rectangle. Yeah. yeah it's very, it's okay. three full skeins. That's also three full skeins and that's also in the book. Okay. Yeah, like here, I'll, 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 here you can see in the book. There it oh. is in the book. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's I like the rectangular medium. shapes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a yep. beautiful piece, no doubt. And the bamboo is just so easy to wear. It's so great for Texas. It's so great for just needing a little bit of a cover. I like it a lot for travel, like when we used to travel places. Uh, because, <laughs> yeah. because Remember not, that? I, I wonder if we'll learn. ever get to do that again. I kind of remember the days when I was organized around getting to the airport. That was a while ago. Um, yeah, and there's the there's the picture of the pattern for the beach wrap, which is so pretty. So, you can also do the striations with all six. 
Yes, you can do the stripes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you could do this with all six. You could have more, yeah, more transition. Okay. The key to striations is no color can have dots of, the, of another color in it. So it has to be completely contrasting, or if you're using six, spread them so that nothing is close to anything else. Because if you put a dot, you need those, those yarns to contrast and all three colors touch all three colors in the full size version. Right, so that the stripes will be very distinct. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's mm. a beautiful piece too. And very simple, yeah. yet, but again, a quite an elegant wrap. So um, I really am so, you know, it was really one of my dreams as, as artist and yarn, yarn designer to have my own yarn spun to my order. And, you know, David has done an incredible job of spinning for me. And um, he does not spin this yarn for anyone else. He doesn't sell it himself and he doesn't provide it to anyone else other than me. So if you want it, um, there it is. Okay, there's there's Marla's striations, which is also yeah. very beautiful in three. Oh colors. yeah, this one. Yeah, let me um, actually let me set the camera down so I can hold and turn it around so I can hold this up. There. Okay. Yeah. Now this oh, is yeah. the beach wrap. This is the beach wrap that has a a dark blue, like a very saturated blue for its main color, and then a set of minis. So, but, so, but you could, you can kind of, you, you and Carla can have fun putting together exact colors you like. That is so pretty, beautiful. That looks like it's got a lot of bounce too. Like when you went around in the back, it, it bounced. <laughs> it has a beautiful drape. <laughs> it's drape, that's what I meant, drape. Yeah, yeah. Because the back is a giant triangle. And then the sides kind of come up. And so it does not fall off your shoulders. That's the Faroe East design. And so you're knitting straight up, not quite straight up off those sides. And so you don't have to hold on to it and it just stays on. Yeah. <laughs> and that can be made with the, with the mini skeins there, the six yeah. pack. Yes, yes. So yeah. for that one, you need a set of the half skeins, like that one you love, Maureen. And then right. <laughs> you need one of those larger skeins that Carla has. She has either one, which is a dark brown gray called Old Saddle, or she's well, got a light, a light neutral color so, cream. We've got yeah. Old Saddle in regular size skeins. Okay, all right. Well, whatever it is she's got, she's got some out of the larger skeins, or you can get two of the regular size skeins if you want yeah. to. Anyway, there you go. You, ev everyone can have a great time with Carla putting together exactly what you want because there's some really, really nice sets of the, um, of the small skeins there for you. Those are super. Fun. How many stitches to the inch, uh, to the four inches? Like, well, it's got to be what, 20, 21, 22? So that. Well, I can no, look at that. Um, that shawl is larger than is a much bigger stitch. There's a great chart in the book for the beach cap, beach white cap, beach wrap shawl that she just had on. I, and I, there's a chart that's a tiny version of the chart that lets you do your um, gauge swatch and get okay. it perfect before you start the whole thing. Is it oh. chart or is it written out too? It, let's see. I think it's, I'm not good with it's a super, super, super easy chart. So I didn't you look at the written instructions. Now, okay. here's the thing, the chart, the middle part is charted. The outer edge is written because it's yarn over knit one. I mean, okay. Mm -hmm. It's a super easy chart. Okay. I'm, I'm from the old school. <laughs> well, I love a chart because it's so easy to see where you're going and where you've come from. That's why I love that's, charts. Yeah, that's what everybody says. I got to get used to it. It's really true. But there's lots of tools you can use, Maureen, to, I mean, Tish, or whichever one of you. Um, Maureen. <laughs> Maureen, sorry. Um, there's lots of tools you can use to make charts more easy as you get used to them, including the transparent marker tape. That's really good. That's yes. Really cool. Yes. Oh, Maureen, you use um, Knit Companion now, don't you? 
Uh, uh, uh. So, yeah, you can bring that chart easily into Knit Companion and run your markers up. Um, okay. It's because your code is in the back of the book and you can get the PDF and then just put that chart page into Knit Companion. Into Knit Companion. Okay. Yeah, you oh, yeah, can play with it yourself. I got to play with them all, but I want the book anyways to start with. Okay, <laughs> that'd be great. Okay, Carla's got it for you. Yep. So um, the other thing I wanted to just show you, and I'm certainly happy to take any questions about bamboo and my other work too. The other thing I wanted to show you is because the bamboo itself has so much depth of color and the depth of color is because of the four ply and the plies being slightly differently. Oh, there's the fairy. Okay, fairy. Yes. Fairy, can you check in with us and before I go into more about bamboo? What about it? Well, I'm just, okay, so Maureen is asking about your pattern. I think we answered all the questions, but people are saying they want your book. So anyway, I'm so excited that Elisa Barton Great. had designed these two books for, <laughs> for my owner. So. Excellent. Well, how can I help? Does anybody have any questions for Elisa about her design? Well, I'd like to make that shrug. Oh, uh, yes. That's a very popular one. I just finished so one that, in a gradient. Is that on a gradient? Actually, the one in the book is not a gradient. It's a blue, a silvery color and a gray. But you yeah. can make it in a gradient? You can oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, as a yeah. matter of fact, yeah. the uh, gradient set is exactly equal to three skeins, which is exactly what I used in the original. So yeah, I just finished one in shades of lipstick that's really pretty. Yeah, so you could do like you could do um, like three shade like something like this. Oh yeah, or or and I know these are your colors, Maureen. <laughs> I know, I know. Yes, play your audience there, Carla. Good job. <laughs> I know. Or you could do it in blues, and of course these are my colors. You could do it. In Those blues. are my colors yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something autumnal would be so pretty. So that pattern, when you start, you actually cast on what runs down the back of your neck. So the last oh. color you end up with is what ends up as the two front lapels. So when you okay. arrange it, you want to make sure that the one you want closest to your face is the one you end with, not start with. Okay. All right. Because I like lots of colors that don't look so spiffy next to my face. <laughs> well, yeah. I like... Uh, yeah, I like bright colors. I'm light and bright, but that's uh -huh. that's nice because you could wear it within anything. Yeah, it's a know? very comfortable thing to wear, and it actually stays on. So yeah, that's really great. Uh, it is so comfortable that every time I put on the sample, when I have the sample in the store, I forget that I'm wearing it, and I almost walk out the door with it. Yeah, yeah. I should have uh, tried it on yesterday. <laughs> Yeah. You know, and the, the funny thing about it, Maureen, is it just seems to fit everyone. So if Carla can flash that picture from the book again. Uh-huh, here. Yeah. There you go. He's got so it, yeah. Randy is the girl on the right, and she's very petite. Yeah. Very, very petite. And then flash it's, it again, Carla. Yeah. It's the same size then, right? Yeah. It's yeah, the same oh, piece it's, shown on three different people. So the girl on the left is my friend who's very busty, but she wears a ladies size medium top. She's just very busty. And then okay. the girl in the middle is um, closer to, I would say probably my size, so maybe an extra large 2X. And, okay. um, and it just, it's the exact same piece shown on three different people. And it really does fit wow. very well, a variety of sizes. Yeah. Okay, then I, I could, I, I that's my style anyways. I love that, that's my style. Excellent. Um, so is are the the arms online? Uh, no. I mean, I, no, they're not. So I'm. I should pick. Oh, up I've three. got. Well, they are. You can look at the colors online, Maureen, and then if you want to know which colors look good together, we can put them together and t and send you pictures of them together. Um, but I mean, is it on the website or not? It's on my website. Yeah. Okay. okay. We right. actually have some kits put together on the website too for this. You have kits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All that right, way you get some colors that you know people have already put together and will work well together. Yeah, I'm afraid I'm going to go for the brights again. I got to get out of that. But uh, <laughs> I like that light gray. That I mean, I got to do. I got to start doing that.
light gray. How about a light gray and a tan, no? Oh, that's, yeah, that's where you are, right there. I gotta. The nifty thing about Jennifer's yarn is that it picks up so many different colors. So what might look like gray may have little flecks of a green tone to it. So it would look really pretty, or it might have some magenta flecks to it. And so you can, you can really put together some really nice combinations that are fairly unexpected. Okay, yeah. Carla, pick out three of those, whatever, for me. Okay. All right, we'll you're there, I'm not. <laughs> we'll I do some combinations it. and send you pictures of them. Okay. All right. Ooh, okay. what about three? Look at those three. <laughs> oh, pretty. <laughs> I um, wanted to get... Yeah. This is what I was about to say when Elisa popped in, which I'm so glad to see her. Um, Hot off the presses. Out, when you pull out my yarn, there is a lot of depth of color. And oh. there are, just the way the, the dyes split out, often they, um, there's colors in there that... You, I, I want that. Okay. No, so, hold on. Okay, with the book. Just send me a PayPal invoice, okay? Okay, we'll mark this Oh, one. that'll be really beautiful. So it when really you do it, if you post pictures online, be sure and tag me because I love to see how people's work out. That is so Okay, beautiful. who am I talking to? I don't see your face. Alyssa? Uh, you're talking to Alyssa, the designer. The, she wrote the book. Knitting Fairy. Oh, okay, Alyssa. Okay. Okay. The Knitting Fairy. So <laughs> just so you know, so when you're in the shop, or Carla will do this for you and send pictures and so forth. Is that, you know, when you have the skeins, always ask if you can undo them. I'm sure Carla will say yes. I hope she will. Mm -hmm. But yeah. the main thing is you really do not know what you're getting until you twist the skeins together. And that's when you see how they'll make their colorways pop out. Look at that beautiful thing. Oh, and you can see yeah. how gorgeous. There is a small amount of bronze in this grayed blue that you would yeah. not even see until you get the two of them next to each other. And then, got beautiful colors. Yeah, thank you. And um, you also can combine a hand paint like this one. Now, this is a wool and silk. Oh, look and at just that. Gives you an idea because now look, okay, so. No, you know, if I were standing there, you'd be going, Jennifer, you've lost your mind. What in the world? <laughs> but look what happens when you twist. You get this incredible artistic expression oh, that you never yeah. thought yep. you were going to get. Yep. So pretty. Yeah. So that gives you kind of an idea. And you can use this technique on any yarn. It is particularly good for no. mine. But you can use it on any. Yeah. So, so now what, what do you want to twist? And what's that one there? Is that mine? Yeah, that's yeah. your. Oh. Yeah. So I'm doing it. So now I'm doing it with yours. I think the lighting's better. Is, is so that two of them or one of them? Is that just like one? Three. So that's of three. That's three. Oh. That's going to be gorgeous. Really? Yeah. Oh. Very elegant. I love a beautiful neutral because they are so rich and elegant. I love a beautiful neutral. And that's I have how it's going to look. Yes. Well, it gives you an idea. Yeah. An oh, idea. pretty. Yeah. Pretty. This, the light here is not picking up some, there's some of the intermediate shade. This is beautiful. I wish uh, my camera is just not, I don't have quite the right light. Tell, it's hard to tell on zoom, but you kind of get the idea. You can see from mine that we're getting more than the sum of the parts, right? And I'm sure that Carla's getting that too, more than the yeah, time. pretty. So, um, okay. So, does anybody else have any any more questions? Oh, it's beautiful. I love it together. Oh, so beautiful, <laughs> really beautiful. I got to stop going to these. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too. Oh my. <laughs> Thank goodness the yarn fall is almost over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, you know, we all had, we, you know, for, there are people that actually save their yarn budget all year for the big fiber fest and so forth. So since we didn't have the fiber fest. Right. That's right. You're right. Okay. 
Yeah. Now, now that fingering weight, do you hold it together while making that shrug or, or not? Is it no, just you it single. single. Okay. Yeah, okay. you'll see. The pattern is very simple. Okay. Yeah, it looks it. Yeah. So, okay. So does anybody else have any questions or comments about okay. the bamboo? I do. I, hi, it's Anise, and I'm sorry I'm a little late to the party here. Hello, but I've been hi. waiting hi. all week to say hello to you and hello to Elisa. And um, hi, I'm so glad to be able to yarn crawl with all of you from Missouri. So here yeah. I, get, I get to party with you. Um, so you may have already answered this, but it's three skeins of the bamboo and the size of that shrug, it, it sort of fits lots of sizes and um, mm -hmm. It's flexible there. And um, is there anything else to consider with the bamboo? I mean, I, it's so soft and wonderful, and it has a little bit of give to it. I'm on call. It so you've more drape than it has give, I would say. It has more drape than give because it is a cellulose fiber. To me, give means the springiness of wool, right? But, you know, it's still very very wonderful to work with and i am continuing to be so grateful and impressed that whenever i'm on talking to people all over the country everyone is telling me i love this yarn i love this yarn so well and one of the things about that shrug is that it is knit in half linen stitch which means it doesn't have as much stretch in the knit itself because the bamboo doesn't grow but sometimes the knit settles down if you, sorry, I have a cat who has Alzheimer's and has decided it's cookie time again. Um, <laughs> that's why I have it muted. I'm also grandma at the moment. So um, anyway, um, but the half linen stitch really helps stop it from growing. So that shrug, oh, okay. as is pictured in the book, is still exactly the same size it was when I took it off the blocking mats and sewed it together. And it is one of those things you want to block that before you sew it together. But, oh, okay. It tells um, you that too, right? Yeah. 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 You need to block it to size and then sew it together because it's kind of an origami construction and there are no real straight flat seams. So it's really hard to block. It's, it's almost like a, tu uh, a, not really a tubular shape, but almost like a, a ribbon type shape and it just doesn't block flat anymore after that so trying to block it after you sew it together is kind of nightmarish and it's nice oh. and flat before you do so just okay, so, it, so it's like just, a straight piece you need exactly it's piece. one long okay. straight piece and the okay. short ends are brought up and sewn to the shoulders okay wow. so you okay. also cannot just keep going and make it deeper because if you make it deeper then you're taking away sleeve depth Okay. armhole depth so you don't want to do that you want to keep it to the size that it's that it's mentioned and three skeins will get you there without any okay. without really much extra I, I mean there was especially if you have a gradient set David who is the um, spinner of the yarn tends to occasionally be very generous in his yardage amounts so what he says is 50 grams sometimes is more like 66 <laughs> which is a <laughs> tremendous difference so I discovered in my previous gradient packet or uh, gradient pattern and um, so if you're going to go with a gradient set just make sure that you have it have it planned out so what I did for mine was that I because I used a gradient set and so I was off the beaten path from the pattern which tells you how far to go with each color um, so I had to kind of make it up and I ended up doing four, um, four rows where I alternate colors and then like, I want to okay. say eight rows. I'd have to look at the sample again, but I think it was eight rows of straight color and then back to four rows of alternating before I changed again. Now Just you don't because have to, you have to, you have to, I'm sorry, do you have to do gauge? I mean, it's straight. Piece. Well, only if you want it to fit Maureen. It's a garment. <laughs> it's a garment. So, you know, this is this, this is this thing that people just, they crack me up because they say, oh, I never knit gauge. And I'm like, oh, yeah, you do. You really do. But you might just be lucky, you know, and, yeah. and you might be just fine. 
and it doesn't matter in a scarf. It really doesn't. But if it's something that's going to fit your body, or if you gotcha. have a limited amount of yarn to make a certain thing, if yeah. you are much, much more loose than I am, you won't get the same number of rows out of the same amount of yarn. If you knit okay. much more tightly than I do, you'll get, you'll have a bunch of yarn left over and your thing will be small and you'll be saying, this didn't make the size it was supposed to. I well, know. Okay. you know, so I, I once had a gentleman who just insisted he was going to knit a sweater and he wasn't going to knit a gauge. Not going to do it. You can't make me. And I said, you are right. We are both adults and I cannot make you knit a gauge swatch. Go in peace. <laughs> have fun. And so he, I should have known because he kept coming back uh -huh. to the shop for another skinny yarn, like over and over and over again. <laughs> and finally he came in one day and he says to me, he says, uh -huh. look at this, just look at it, it would fit three of me. And I said, congratulations, you just knit a really big gauge swatch. <laughs> <laughs> so now before you rip it out, uh -huh. let's take an accurate gauge and figure out how many stitches you really should have cast on. Right. And he was yeah. so mad. He was just, he just knew there was something I could do to fix it. And I'm like, you no. Know, <laughs> no, congratulations. Oh, you now have a 64, chest, 64 inch chest gauge swatch. Just what you needed. Uh -huh. uh, that was so, a dumb question. That was a dumb question. No, it's not a dumb question. We all want to try to get away with as little as I possible. I know. But, you know, I, there, there just are some places where the rubber meets the road that you have to do the thing. <laughs> and you need to, this is a piece you probably are not going to have to wash over and over and over again. Right, right. Sorry, my dogs are also insane. Um, but enough. <laughs> I'm going to interject right here that one of the great things in this book that I loved is that there is exactly the number of stitches that you're supposed to be getting. And it's not the same for every project in the book. So I like change needle sizes and to get my rows to be the right thing for different projects in the book. And they all turned out splendid. <coughs> okay. Right. And so Marla you gotta... and I do not knit at the same gauge. Our defaults are not the same. Not at so all. So we got to do the rows and they're not the same. And so you've gotta... knit all but one of the pieces now, haven't you, Marla? I have not knit the helix. Yeah, the, the world. And I have not knit the boho wrap, although I could. I, that's just not, I haven't knit it. But my striations, you missed it. It's here. It's finished. Ooh. Uh, it's you so love that. Oh, oh love it's that. so love pretty. It. Oh. I have to say, that's probably the second most popular piece out of the book. This is a, okay. a second piece. It's been on my needles for, um, well, I was a test knitter. And so it's been on my needles since the beginning, before the book came for out. over a year. <laughs> over a year. Um, and it's just been there because it's so easy to go back to. This is the one you carry around and literally it, yeah. you yeah. just, you have to memorize this one row, but you don't have to have your knit companion open. You can just print the page. It's one paragraph that you have to know. You could write it on an index card and carry it around with you. Just that one little row until you get to the striping oh, okay. section. That's all you have to have. So for 120 rows, just you know, an index card yes. is perfect for that. And, um, but I've been busy knitting the other things. Well. The, now, do you do a row gauge too? Do I yeah. do one? Mine yeah. are very loose. A row gauge. Yes. In that beach cap, that's what I was saying. In the white cap beach wrap. So I said there's a chart. And I knit the chart first, and my row, my my stitch gauge was perfect, but my row gauge was way off. And so I went back with a different kind of needle because needle material makes a difference yeah. in row a lot of yeah. times. And I went back and I got it right on. And then I didn't block mine quite as aggressively as the white one. Mine's the navy one, gotcha. but it turned out so spectacularly. But I did take the Beautiful. time to do that chart that's the, that's the swatch chart. And okay. that is one of the reasons that you need the full 150. Um, I had almost no, none left over because I did the swatch from it. Okay. I've never done a row gauge. Well, your, your swatch will, be, will work. Hi, Vanessa. Your, um, 
your reg your your stitch swatch stitch will swatch. also provide your row swatch. Yeah, but well, okay. Sometimes I, I get a question. I, I get too many questions, but now can that block out? Can that stretch the bamboo? Like when you block it, you should absolutely measure your gauge blocked. Yes. Not that oh. the bamboo stretches, it's that the knit settles into its shape. Okay. okay. So you want to make sure that you've blocked it because the dimensions are given as blocked. So if okay. you don't block your swatch, you're kind of flying blind. Okay. Good. Does anybody else have any questions about bamboo or any curious about anything? Hey, so I did want to tell you a little bit about um, the other kinds of yarn that I work in. I also do work in wool and in wool I do a lot of high contrast hand paints and the tonals that go with them like these. I do a lot of this kind of stuff. So, um, and Carla doesn't really have them in the shop, but if there's anything that you are looking for of this kind of thing, she can order it or I can provide it for you. I just want to let you know. And I do have, I have, I do have wools of several kinds. I have wool and nylon sock yarn. I have 100% wool. I also have wool cashmere and nylon, and I have wool cashmere and silk. So I have quite a few different, um, wool bases as well, wool blends. Okay. And I would say one of my more popular ones is the wool cashmere and silk because not that many people work in that. It's kind of a rare fiber. So that gives you an idea. This gives you an idea about some of the other things that I do. You're a busy lady. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, in the basement, yeah. So there's a, you know, <laughs> this one also is a high, this one is wool and silk, which is gorgeous, half and half half wool and half silk really beautiful with a beautiful shine yeah so that kind of you know if you're looking for a fiber weight that's something like that i've got it for you so very good where's college she's as we see the uh we see her dolly the, the dolly I, I was over i'm over at the pc can you see me can no you can only see no, we see your dolly Oh, oh, I see what happened. My battery is going. There Hi, Curtis. Go. Hey, Curtis. Now you got to see Curtis. Okay. Here, oh, I yeah. see the shrub. Yeah. Um, I like that. Oh. Okay, so the, for those of you who just joined us, that's the boho shrug in uh, three stains of bamboo. That's in rust, marble, and El Greco. Those so the, the first color is the one you start with, what you want in the front, right? Gotcha. Now the one you start with is the one it's which one is it you start with this one on top right i thought it was the you're front on, you're muted elisa i don't know maybe she's not talking to us i can't remember i think you do start i believe she just said that the first color is the color that's across the back of your neck and back so okay, the question so, so that's the gray she's got the, the dark gray okay yeah. Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you lay them out and the color that you want to be right here along either side of your face. And yeah. Carla, if you talk, it'll pull it over to you and you, we can see. Uh, oh, I can yeah. see. Here. Yeah, we can see here. Okay, yeah. good. So if you color where I'm trying to find Carla so I can see what color it is. Oh, there we go. So the rust what? color is the one that you end with. So that okay, dark brownish gray is what you start with. Okay. So when you're laying your colors out, that's uh -huh. what you want is that one that's the, the rust color on the sample that Carla's wearing that comes up and does either side of the front of your face. That's the color you want to have next to your face. Okay, so that's the last color I use. Exactly. Okay, yeah. great. I'm writing that down. I may, I may just do that with the Sonoma jacket. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like that. Now, that's got yellow in it, too, right? That one there that you're doing? 
it's got this these are yours and this one right. is it's just got a hint of it goes it's from gold it's sort of a cream that's got just a little bit of yellow in it nice nice and then so oh. it's the pretty so yeah. carla we're still planning to do a knit along of the boho right yes i was going to ask you about that we're going to do yeah. a knit -along of the boho oh, yay um, yay when does that start next year early next year like let's early get past the holidays yeah, so it'll be ready we'll have a we'll be all fit there we'll have them finished for spring awesome all right yeah, so, so you, need that along, you can put it on your just... christmas list too so <laughs> i can wait till after the holidays right to, to well, you want to buy it while you've got the colors that you like oh yeah i'm gonna buy everything so that way i can i won't get a nervous breakdown with everything i got <laughs> it is the <laughs> thing with the hand painted yarns you got to get the color that you like when you see it yeah, because no, no, even no, if I, Jennifer did the same colors again, they would never look exactly the same. Yeah, well, no, yeah, definitely. We're gonna start the knit along after the holidays. Technically, okay. okay, friends. Technically, there are some colors I can get over and over again, and they all come out just the same. Others, there's variation. Okay, and then there's others still that I describe as they just haven't settled into themselves yet. Nice. <laughs> So then there's like really a lot of variation. Very so nice, yeah. Generally speaking, so like if if you were to go and, and want to get four skeins of something and Carla only had three, what I would tell you is let me dye all four of them for you at once. Oh, okay. And then you know, I got, a, I got a dumb question. Can I ask no, a dumb, no. really dumb? No, no this is no, off, off the beaten question. path. No, it's, it's when you spin yarn, you know, on your spinner, all of a sudden, the winder, you know, that wooden thing. Yeah. All of a sudden, the yarns that I'm, that I'm doing, it, they get tangled up somehow. Okay, so Elisa has a video on YouTube, which is how to wind the bamboo yarn. <laughs> okay. I do. I did it for our last knit along, for the Philosophile knit along, because, you know, here in the plague years, People are buying yarns online and they, they don't ship as nicely in a cake. And so yeah, you're having they get to get tangled. They really do. So we're having to wind our own and the bamboo has more personality than some yarns. Okay, and so you got so I wanted too. people to have some success in winding it because it is a little bit different. Okay. So um, Carla, yeah. if you don't have that link, I would be happy to send it to you. Um yes, please do send it to me. And yeah, that I way I can do. I'll put That'd it up. Cool. I'll try and get it real fast and put it in the chat too. I don't know. It's funny because the yarns that they're making today, it's like some of them get tangled and I'm, I'm trying to make sure it's all straight and sometimes it just gets tangled. Sometimes Does that make sense? The video is completely awesome. And it will talk about how to do that. And that happens at the factory. I've been there when they've made it and I've watched. And it does happen at the factory sometimes. Okay. So when you watch her video, it's super easy to follow and watch it with your pause button handy so you can pause and follow all the steps. Wow. <laughs> hey, we got it for you. All right, Gail. <laughs> Is that mine too? No. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure you could have one. So I have to tell you, if you look over, if you look at the uh, display that Carla is standing next to there, I have to tell you uh, this, you know how everything has a story, right? So um, a couple of years ago, sometime in the past, Alisa took my entire line in a trunk show to Houston to the Knitters Guild. They actually asked for my yarn for her to bring my yarn down to Houston for the knit, for the guild there. And they specifically yeah. asked for gray and pink. So I went kind of crazy and I did nine grays and seven pinks for them. And that's what started on this line of all these grays. And I still ah. do all these nine grays and they are extremely popular. And the reason why, I think one of the reasons why is because, of course, the bamboo takes the dye at such depth. But the other reason is, like, if you look at the big commercial houses, usually they'll have one pale gray and, and they'll have a charcoal. Sometimes they have one in the middle. That's it. That's it. But in my line, we have 
many, many graves. And they yeah. there's a there's a joke there somewhere about fifty shades, I'm sure. There is. There is. <laughs> it's only nine. But um or I don't know, there might be more by now for all I know. And I still do, do I don't do as many of the pinks as I did for that show, but I still have quite a few pinks too. There you go. There you can see them. I love your pinks. Thank you. I love pink too. Like, they're pretty. I love your papaya too, and it looks really good with the pink. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I did nice. one of the striations with Beautiful. papaya, blueberry, and cream, and it looks so pretty. Oh, wow. Yeah, blueberry that blueberry papaya. that's there, it's almost like a, yeah, that one, papaya yeah, cool. and, and cream, Very which nice. is a, a, a yellowed, what, yeah, just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Really beautiful. Nice. You really almost can't go wrong with, you know, just picking up just pick them up. Sometimes I will even do this myself. I'll reach in my stash without even looking and see what I come up with to combine. You really cannot go too wrong with it. I so. did put that link for winding the yarn in the chat. And just so you know, it calls for a swift, but not a ball winder. If you don't have a ball winder, you can still wind it by hand. The swift I really recommend. Oh, I get the swift. That's what the uh, chat might say. So. Oh, okay. I, do, I, I do a lot of preparation on these skeins so that they will not tangle. Of course, occasionally it does happen, but I So do. that happens at the factory then you're saying, right? That's sometimes, sometimes, I mean, it happens all over the place, but yeah. generally speaking, I try to keep them contained under control. I try to make sure they're all very- Oh, different. I'm sure. To I be honest, Maureen, a lot of times it's user error. That's what I'm saying. I, it's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> but it's easy morning. to do. It's when easy. I was younger, I could do it. Now when I'm older, I, all of a sudden it gets tangled. Uh, so you're right. I'll watch the video. I did put it in the chat. And Carla, I sent you the link as well. And you're welcome to share that however you need to. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. Well, I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> well, for those of you who joined us later, I just want to say a, a small uh, plug again for the North Texas special colorways that are in the oh, set yeah. that Carla has. These are all um, either historical references or natural references to the Whitesboro, North Texas area. And uh, this is exclusive for the crawl. So there's a few of those. So if you love this beautiful thing here, uh, this is a great time to grab one. And these are half skeins. They're not minis. These are 200 yards a piece. So you have 1,200 yards there. So, yes, yeah, so you could make a, um, you could make the, um, you could either make the striation out of it or you could yes. do the drug out of it. Yes. yes. Can, there's many things you can do with it. Yeah. But those yeah. are some good ideas right there. Yeah. Or you could also do the uh, beach wrap out of it too. Mm -hmm. Right. You would need an additional, either two skeins or one of the oversized skeins as the main yeah. color. Right, something like this. Yeah, yeah, something like that would be really mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, and, each, and you know, I really did uh, do a fair amount of study of, of the Whitesboro of the uh, stagecoach line and the history of that and what's gone on around that area. And I am from North Texas myself too. So I really, you know, drew on the heritage of of the area, which is so sweet. It's great when we have a, when we have something that really tells a story. Look, here we have Corridan. He is so huge. Hi, Corridan. Sorry, I had you muted. Say hi to grandma's friend. Hi. Hi, honey. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now you've seen what we're doing. Talk, go play quietly. <laughs> Sorry, he had to know. <laughs> okay, so Carla, do you have any other questions or anything you'd like us to talk about? Um, I don't think so. Um, no, thank you. This has been great. This, is, this has been wonderful. Okay, great. Well, I do look forward to, if it works out for all of us, um, towards the end of the year, I do have some uh, things in the bottom of my trunk and some one-of-a-kind skeins and some special colorways and some some odds and ends that I will be doing in virtual trunk show for the shop there. So, so watch for that, please.
That'll and be fun. Yeah, we'll do. We're very overexcited to work with such great designers and to have and completely honored to work with Quixotic and to share these beautiful yarns and colors with all of you. Thank you. They are beautiful. Thank you. So thank you for joining and we'll, um, I, I did record this, so we'll be uploading it to YouTube. So you'll be able to, um, if you missed anything, you can watch it later. Okay. okay. Oh, and take a paper and, and get up close and just kind of go like across the top and then to the next. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, like that. These are all my greens. I oh. call them my so, Vanessa, if there's something you really like, then count across and then you can tell Carla, like, I want that one that's like three o'clock. Shawl at the top is Lori Beardsley's new one, a little help oh, for your yes. friends. Yeah, I think it. I think I bound it off a little too loosely. I'm going to probably rebind that top, but um, it's it's pretty easy. But it has beads uh, in it. So that's beautiful. that color that it's knit in is cosmic background radiation. Okay. And Radi then that 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 philosophile to the right. That oh knit, yeah, this is that the magpie and maybe pomegranate. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. that, that's magpie and it stripes like that just straight off because of the shape of that shawl oh that's different and that woven piece there is oh, yeah. leftovers leftovers from minis <laughs> from a project carla marla has many leftovers for me <laughs> for me uh, yeah, beautiful woven piece. Beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So drapey. So. Okay. So on the second row, Vanessa, we have a lot of pinks and some, it looks like teal and silver bird on the left-hand side. Yes. And, and this uh, Sequoia. I love Sequoia. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty. That's a good one for your shop, for sure. And then down at the bottom, we have the blue grays into the uh, brown neutrals. And at the bottom, yeah. the more, more of this, more of this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> one of our favorite, I'm trying to remember now which one it is. I think it's this one. This is a surprise. It's not something I would have thought of normally, but um, this is really a pretty combination together. Yeah, orange and pink. Yeah. Which, which of those apple. oranges is that? Is that the papaya? No, it's That's, this is papaya and peshmelba. Oh, yeah. The papaya also looks surprisingly good with rainbow trout, if you have any rainbow oh, trout. Yeah. I love rainbow trout. Let's see. That's cool. Okay, uh, so we have an, another uh, yarn shop owner who did a scarf that I designed called Slipping Away, which is a two skein slip stitch scarf. It's on Ravelry. Uh -huh. And those are the colors he picked and they are, I would not have put them together, but he was just determined and I am stunned. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Wow. I love rainbow trout because it really does. It looks like trout. It's got all these colors in it. Yeah. Right. And huh. the slipping away is a, is a mosaic stitch and it's different based on which side you view it from. So there is no wrong side. So oh. on one side of it, you get primarily rainbow trout with a little bit of the papaya through it. And when you flip it the other way, it's papaya with a little bit of the rainbow trout. So you get a different looks depending on which side is, is facing you. And it's really kind of fun. Nice. But you want, if you're gonna do that one, you wanna make sure you pick two colors that have absolutely nothing in common. Because if you happen to slip the fuchsia that's in something else into the middle of a fuchsia, it's going to totally disappear. So you want something that's very contrasty. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is another really pretty combination. The plum blossom and the purple rain. Oh yeah. That you color. Mm -hmm. Purples. <laughs> all the purples all the time yes yes <laughs> uh -huh. 
Freddy. Yeah. Okay, anything else? I think I'm gonna go feed the wild Indian in the background. Okay. <laughs> okay, very wonderful to see you all. My honor. Nice, to work nice with seeing you. Thank you yep. so much, Carla. Thank, thank you, Carla. Thank you. Send me bye -bye. an invoice. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.